Hey guys, so if you feel that you are stuck in a particular position in a senior level site reliability or senior level DevOps position for a very long time and wondering why you are not able to take that one step to a staff engineer or maybe a principal engineer or an architect role, uh, here are my five tips which can actually help you grow in your current role, right? So just let's get into it. Uh, number one is initiatives. So when you are aiming that principal engineer or the staff engineer, engineer position, uh, what leadership is looking from you is that you're taking initiatives in, in your current role. Uh, you cannot be just content with what you're doing or whatever is assigned to you. Uh, if you do that, then you're just meeting the expectation of, a, of your company, right? You're not doing anything excessive. So you need to learn to take initiatives and the one KPI which you need to develop is creating work in your current uh, role. So you can do that by looking at the technical debt in, in your current maybe uh, project, right? Whatever the technical debt is, find it out, fix those problem. Even if you're not fixing those problem yourself, uh, you need to learn to drive those, right? So you should drive them to end to end. And that's what actually triggers your leadership or your management to see that you have those qualities to take that next step to a staff engineer or a principal engineer position. Number two is be a mentor. So if you are mentoring your junior colleagues or even if you're, if you're mentoring your colleagues which are at the same level as you are, you are helping them with tech, not just technical problems or maybe their life problems as well, right? So the, the gist of this point is that you need to be a mentor to, to the people around you, right? So if, if you are doing that, then the leadership sees that you have the qualities of being a leader yourself, right? So that means that you can actually progress and take that next step to be a senior engineer or a staff engineer or a principal engineer. Number three is you need to learn to collaborate. So once you move to a staff engineer or a principal engineer or an architect role in your organization, uh, these roles actually involve collaborating with multiple teams across multiple domains in your company. So probably if you're working in a very big company, you would know that there are multiple development teams which you need to talk with, which you probably don't uh, do when you are at a DevOps engineer level or a senior uh, DevOps engineer level, senior site reliability engineer level. You are mostly an individual contributor in these roles. So you don't actually worry about collaborating with multiple teams and you just focus on your work. But once you move to a senior role, like a staff engineer or a principal engineer, then you actually have to drive uh, your organization level projects where you actually have to talk and collaborate with multiple development teams uh, across, across the organization. So probably building up that skill is very important if you want to move to that next level. Number four, take feedbacks. So taking feedback is very important. So you need to learn to take feedback, not just from your manager when you're in your one-to-ones, one take feedbacks from your colleagues, right? The people you're working with every day in, day out. Take feedbacks from the people who are already in the position which you are aiming, like take feedbacks from staff engineers in your, in your organization. Take feedbacks from the principal engineers who are there, right? Ask them what they are doing and what you can do to improve yourself to be at that level, right? That actually sets a very good confidence among your colleagues, among your managers, among your leadership team, right? That you are ready to take that next step to be in the position uh, where you are actually willing to improve yourself to get in that uh, particular role, right? So that actually helps uh, your leadership team about, I mean, it clears a lot of doubt uh, about yourself to your leadership team. So probably taking feedbacks is very important and learn to take feedbacks positively. Like even if, I mean, if someone has something to say negative about you, don't take it like that. Uh, if if they are asking you to improve on a particular thing, if they are telling you uh, something where you can, we are, where, where you are actually lacking, uh, learn to take uh, that positively, improve on that, and then go back to them maybe a few months later just to see your progress from their point of view, right? How have you progressed? So that 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 is a very important point if you want to move to that next level. Point number five, become what you seek in your head first. So this is a very important uh, thing to do. So if you are aiming for a position like an architect role or a DevOps, a, a principal DevOps or a principal site reliability engineer, you have to be that in your head first, right? You, you I, I mean, even if you are just a senior site reliability engineer, but 
if you're acting like a principal engineer, if you're acting like a staff engineer in your head, like you're headstrong, basically this point uh, corresponds to being a headstrong engineer. If you are doing that, if you, if you become a principal engineer in your head already, uh, no one can stop you from becoming or taking that next uh, step to a principal engineer or staff engineer. So become what you seek in your head first. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have. These are the five points which I probably want you to take if you want to move to that next level in, in your career. Uh, yeah, that's that's all. And probably I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.